Meet Pete Bray, former patron of mine, huge influence in our community and leader of Tiny Boat Nation Canada. This is his boat and this is his journey from something that you just saw to something that is fantastic. He went all out, no shortcuts, didn't get burnt out. He put every last thing that you could ever want inside a boat. Anything you might have thought of, he thought of and stuck it in there. And we have really good footage of it from start to finish. We can give you a good overview and we can give it to you on the water. Stay tuned because it's all starting now. Hey guys, welcome to my walk around of my Crestliner. It's a 1976 uh, boat, 16 foot, that was handed through uh, our family, through our grandfather, to my uncle, to my cousin, now myself. First things I really enjoy, really like, or a uh, nice mod that I like, is just that onboard battery charger to both my little ABS pipe uh, rod holders. Everybody knows how to do that. We got a Hook 7, Lowrance GPS, down imaging only. I don't have some box for it. And I just wrapped it up your typical four uh, gang gangway switch in front of the deck first hatch um green vinyl that i chose uh white uh stickers thank jason brown again two wood uh between the wood i have all the uh the pink foam uh just give as much foam to the project as i can uh next hatch i just keep my boat fenders uh, in here rope anchor uh first hatch i fish mostly bass so i saw it keeps it light and dresses it up got my tool holder everything is uh, nice and accessible got my uh, pliers got my scissors timer uh, timer it'll be either on one two uh one ended up getting a kayak hatch it's just an eight in, eight inch hatch everything fits in there just instead of lifting up the whole entire door that's much easier so just to turn it's easier to pick up uh my life well it's just a tote like everybody else uses so we'll shut that off push the button and it pumps it out for me um, the bow, I didn't know what to do for the longest time. It was painted. Uh, I ended up putting carbon fiber uh, vinyl wrap on it. Uh, I got a logo on online. I got my name, name of the boat, Bass Assassin. That handles extremely rough waves. Uh, the other hatch, same thing. A smaller compartment here. Cooler. I made a pretty big cooler. Uh, sealed up pretty good. A uh, couple lights gives power to the front. So the back. Uh, I ended up putting my light in case I need to work on something. Uh, there's foam for the gas tanks. And that's about it. So when I'm starting to get burnout and I'm just like, why am I doing this? Screw this build. I look at Pete. I look at everything he accomplished. I look at others like him. And there I find my motivation again. Because at any given time, we could all be on the water just like this, enjoying ourselves. Enjoy life as you can. Do whatever you can to improve it. No shortcuts. All in. We are the Tiny Boat Nation.